hello to all of the dear friends that are watching this video i'm mary from hyperpix productions team and i'm so glad and happy uh, that on the behalf of hyperpix team i'm here uh, so i can introduce one of our latest and most amazing products which is named hyper clouded to you uh, by using this photoshop action uh, you would be able to uh, create some brilliant uh, artworks uh, just as you see and you can type your text or your logos uh, in a totally realistic cloud uh, style and use it in all your different uh, projects just as you see in these images uh, and you can use them uh, it doesn't need any uh, special knowledge in Photoshop uh, all you need to do is to just um, download this product and follow me step by step uh, in the video so I'm going to show you how easy uh, you can get to uh, some fantastic results like these images and surprise your clients and customers uh, which uh, would need some very very professional uh, designers and lots of time but just with a single click you can get to uh, these brilliant results just as you see uh, so it's absolutely easy to work with this uh, product just follow me so after you download this product uh, and you extract out of the zip form uh, you would have two folders and one PSD file uh, so first of all I'm going to open the PSD file in Photoshop uh, so right here uh, we have our work right here and we're going to uh, work with our template right here in this file and after we uh, do our work, we can just import the cloud result uh, to our different projects. So note the steps to work with this product, you got to use this template. Don't forget this. Uh, so in the install fo uh, folder, we have uh, four files, uh, which we have one action file, two brush files and one pattern file. Uh, so all of these uh, files uh you need to import them into photoshop uh in this way that the first file which is action i'm just going to zoom a little uh so to import the actions into photoshop you need to just come to window select uh, actions and in this panel uh, which appears right here you might have many more actions but you need to just have one group which is named uh, default actions you come to the section right here click this icon uh, select load actions and now in this window uh, our action which is in the same uh, slide we need to load it and as you see uh, it's imported successfully hyper cloudy by hyperpix and now we need to import our brushes and our clouds as well so to import them there's many many different ways one of the ways is to select the brush tool right click on the screen click on this icon and select load brush uh, so we have two brushes right here uh, one time we select one of them as you see our brushes appear right here and one more time we select the other brush and as you see uh, we have all of our brushes right here in our Photoshop uh, so now we need to import our um, pattern into Photoshop uh, it's many different ways to import the pattern in the older Photoshop's like my Photoshop which is a 2017 version from the edits presets presets manager you can select the patterns right here and just load the pattern just like this but the next way and a very easier way is to just double click on the pattern are you going to come in Photoshop uh, but if you come to the section right here in patterns as you see our pattern is loaded right here so with a single double click you can just add your um, pattern to the photoshops or use presets manager or if you use very uh, latest versions of photoshop like 2022 we just suggest you to double click on the pattern so we select done uh, all of our files are loaded and imported just check one time uh, so if your actions are added and check out your brushes uh, notice that hyperpix brush is loaded and make sure about that and also hyperpix cloud brush the two different brushes uh, so uh, the main uh, brushes are the hyperpix brushes so make sure if they're loaded uh, so finally uh, we can check the pattern just like the select this icon select patterns 
and you're going to check out your patterns right here make sure if they're here uh, so now we're going to uh, play our action so before we get started select the brush tools and note this uh, that your opacity should be on 100 and the flow should be on 100 as well if it's on any other number except 100 uh, the option won't work uh, as it should and it could uh, make some errors uh, so we opened our template right here all we need to do is to just uh, double click and type your ideal text it doesn't make any difference what text it is I'm just going to type uh, a default text right here we won't uh, change the font uh, so from the actions pattern I'm going to we have a five hyper cloudy levels uh, the difference uh, between them are in the thickness which they create so any more uh, the number is smaller uh the cloud uh, the clouds which are going to be created are going to be more light and thin so we just try one of the actions i'm going to try hyper cloudy number one i'm going to select play and wait a moment till the result is uh applied automatically and done we have the success message right here we just select stop uh as you see it's absolutely amazing the result is fantastic is so so realistic and with a fantastic resolution uh, so now I'm just going to uh, explain this section to you and the difference between the actions just note this uh, section and pay a lot of attention so I'm just going to uh, bring it as default and type one more text right here just like this here we go so I'm going to just select one font uh, one font except uh, this one which we had for instance this one i'm just going to customize a little it's excellent i'm going to put the size on this number uh so notice that if your text uh, is very very tiny the action won't work and it's going to give an error so your text should be on a large size it should be uh big and after res the result is applied you can just a resize it or minimize it so don't worry about that i'm just going to uh, enlarge it and play action uh, number one just before uh, we check out the results i'm just going to get a duplicate of this window here so we have a backup uh, i'm going to play hypercloud number one i'm going to see what is going to happen so here we go it's done and uh, just what we need to note is that if you zoom in and pay attention to this section, uh, this part of this text and this part uh, has a little problem and it hasn't uh, worked as it should. Uh, the action is not uh, played right. So to um, just solve the problem, we can just try one more level so it works on the text a little more bolder. We can use another action. I'm just going to get one more backup hypercloud number two and play so we're going to see the difference with hypercloud number one so here we go as you see hypercloud uh, number two has worked brilliant uh, we don't have that problem in hypercloud number two so uh, it's great so notice that if your text or logo uh, some of the sections or parts had a little trouble you can just use another um, action like in a bigger number uh, so you don't have this problem just pay attention here it's fixed and it's brilliant so one more a way which you can um, stop the problems is to enlarge your text as much as you can one more time I'm going to try hyper cloudy number one where we had an error so I'm going to see what's going to happen this time so when we enlarge the text uh, just stop as you see that it's applied brilliant and there's no trouble or problem in the text uh, despite that in the first uh, play we had this problem but when we enlarge that text uh, the problem is solved so if you face problems like this you have two ways or you can enlarge your text as much as you can or you can use one more uh, version of the action a different number uh, so as i explained earlier on uh, we have two folders right here what is the other folder uh, it, it is images uh, which are the all different backgrounds which we have a place for you which you can use there maybe you want to uh, try your text on a different background or on your own image there's no difference I'm just going to uh, 
I select some of these backgrounds and insert them into Photoshop just like this I'm going to see how they're going to work so we try one more background just like this as you see one by one uh, they get it imported as you see how beautiful it is it's absolutely brilliant and here we go uh, so you can just uh, change your backgrounds insert them into Photoshop and enjoy the results uh, so right here I'm just going to customize a little more in hypercloudy if you open it uh, we have the result right here and you can just uh, make your clouds a little more darker we select expose uh, double click and by changing the gamma you can just make the clouds much more darker uh, you can uh, customize uh, offset and also uh, edit the exposure a little depending on your taste and as you see how much uh, difference we have right here uh, the result is brilliant on this background and now we can just minimize our text to the size which we want just like this so you can just uh, minimize it as much as you want there's no limits depending on your projects but just when we want to play the actions your text has to be very large but after the result is applied you can have a control on your text and make any changes you want just like this here we go We're done right here uh, just I'm going to teach you one more technique uh, if you like um, if you like to uh, just these clouds which you see here uh, which they're in the edge um, if you pay attention to them uh, they might uh, not be so sharp so if you want to make them a little sharper uh, you can just remove some of these uh, clouds in the edge automatically just uh, hold the control button and just click on uh, this layer folder click on the icon so we come to this section right here mask just pay attention right here I'm going to click on this mask right here and we're going to see what is gonna happen as you see uh, we uh, had some clouds and like the steamy start around our uh, cloud which we don't have it anymore and uh, if you want your text to be a little more sharper you can use this technique which is amazing depending on your taste uh, so the other interesting point which this product has is the transparent ability by switching off the background uh, you're going to see that our style is going to be in an amazing transparent which allows you to just use your text or logo on any background you like uh, you can just drag hyperpix uh, cloudy folder and um, you can use this layer uh, and drop it on all your different projects and your different images and backgrounds and have so much fun uh, so let's come back one more time to this template right here uh, so I'm just going to try one logo and we're going to see how our result is going to turn out on a logo. I'm going to use Coca-Cola logo. We insert it right here, bring it in the center. We have Coca-Cola right here. And notice that the very important thing, uh, don't forget that you need to uh, drag your logo into the group folder. If it be at the top, your action uh, would face some problems so the action has to work on the group folder we don't need this text just remove it so don't forget that you shouldn't rename the group folder uh, just you need to uh, keep your text or logo into this group so we're going to select cloud number one and play so we're done we just select stop as you see one more time uh, we have lost these parts right here and the result isn't uh, very interesting. So uh, we come back for one more here, drag our logo, uh, but this time uh, we're going to use hypercloudy number two. I just select play. And done. Uh, so in uh, action number two, we still have the same problem because this uh, logo is in some of the sections so what we need to do is just one more time we insert our logo one more time we uh, remove the text but this time we're going to use hypercloudy number three uh, 
and done as you see hypercloudy number three worked excellent the result is fantastic um i just wanted to show you the problems in this product and show you how easy uh you can uh, use these actions as you saw in the coca-cola logo we had trouble in number one in number two but number three worked excellent so now you can enlarge or minimize the result uh and do any customize you want on your result you can give it a color you can uh, give it a background let me just uh, use one background i'm just going to use this background for instance we we'll just drag it right here uh, i think it's excellent so now i'm just going to give a little color to my cloud excellent just a little more here uh, and i'm going to just customize the exposure a little and here we go uh, so also the brightness and the contrast which i'm going to just adjust a little and it's brilliant uh, so we zoom in just check out the amazing details uh, so thanks so much for watching this video uh, if you like this product to download this refer to hyperpix.net uh, and in our website you can check out all our other products i'm sure you're going to enjoy uh, we have so many different styles and products which if you like this product you're going to like them as well i promise you don't forget to check them out and if you like this video we would be so glad if you like the video also we would be happy if you subscribe our youtube channel and share us with your friends bye to one more video